ISRO is gearing up for India's first solar mission. The launch rehearsal has been completed for Aditya L1, which will lift off from Sri Hari Kota on the 2nd of September at 11:50 a.m. Internal checks have been conducted, and things are progressing smoothly to deploy India's inaugural solar mission. The spacecraft will be launched using PSLV C57 rocket. जो अधिकांश जो लॉन्चेस हैं वो पी एस एल वी रॉकेट पर हुई हैं जिसमें कि लोअर थॉर्बेट में अब वो करीब बत्तीस सौ किलोग्राम का वजन जो है पे लोड वो लोअर थॉर्बेट में भेज सकते हैं और जियो स्टेशनरी ऑर्बिट जो कि पैंतीस हज़ार सात सौ छियासी किलोमीटर समुद्र की सतह से इतनी ऊँचाई तक जा सकते हैं वहाँ जो सेटेलाइट प्लेस करते हैं वो करीब चौदह पंद्रह सौ किलोग्राम के हो सकते हैं The journey that Aditya L1 will cover over 4 months is a staggering 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. The spacecraft will be initially placed in a low Earth orbit. Subsequently, the orbit will be made for more elliptical and later the spacecraft will be launched towards the Lagrange point L1 by using onboard propulsion. While traveling towards L1, Aditya L1 will exit the Earth's gravitational sphere of influence. Once out of it, its cruise phase will begin and the craft will be injected into a large halo orbit around L1. Aditya L1 uh, mission is going to be launched on 2nd of September at 11.50 a.m. from Sriharikota. And this is going to be launched on the PSLV C-57 launcher. So the L1 uh, point is at 1.5 million kilometers away. So it will take uh, about uh, 100 to 120 days to reach the point. Will Aditya L1 land on the sun? No. Unlike Chandrayaan-3, which touched down on the lunar south pole, the solar probe will instead be positioned at the first Lagrange point in the Earth's sun system. Lagrange points are positioned in space where the gravitational force of two celestial bodies, in this case Earth and Sun, create pockets of gravitational equilibrium. This allows the spacecraft to remain in one position without having to burn fuel. There are five Lagrange points in the Earth's Sun system, L1 to L5. The L1 and L2 points, which are closest to Earth, serve as good spots for observational studies. In 2021, NASA's Parker Solar Probe did indeed touch the Sun for the first time in history. The spacecraft navigated through the Sun's upper atmosphere, known as Corona. The Parker Probe reached out to 7.8 million kilometers from the Sun's surface. It endured extremely high temperatures, exceeding 1000 degrees Celsius, but continued to function without any issue. On the contrary, the Aditya L1 spacecraft will be positioned much farther from the Sun than NASA's Parker Solar Probe and will not encounter such intense heat. So why is studying the Sun so critical? That's because solar weather and environment affect the weather of the entire solar system. Variations in this weather can change the orbits of satellites or shorten their lives. They can interfere with or damage electronics on board and even cause power blackouts and other disturbances on Earth. So knowledge of solar events is key to understanding space weather. The sun's extreme heat and magnetic behaviors can give us insights into our galaxy and beyond.